Let's drive by with Colin Hayes. John and Edward are here. Edward, are Hi, here. everyone driving in your car. We hope you had a great day at work. Whatever you're up to, whatever's been going on, you're here. Colin Hayes, the coolest radio DJ in the world. Yeah, how are we? Great to see you. Yeah. We've kind of been in, we've been in hiding. We've actually yeah. like just came out for the day just we to say hi to you. Cave just to say hello to you because I, you called us. I know. And we came at, like superheroes. I put a, we should have a sort of a light, and it's a jet. It's the Jedward heads up in the city, and when you yeah. see that light, yes, Jedward are roaming across the city, yeah. to making things better, or like like. Yeah, or maybe we have like a flag that like says that Jeward in Ireland. Yes. Did we raise a flag at Dublin Castle? Yes. Yes. Like when the Queen so is in residence. Ireland, I think we're in America all the time. As soon as you get comments on Twitter, like when you come back to Ireland, like we're always in Ireland. We're always somewhere yeah. about somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. But I think it's it's it, you, your hair looks good, calm. Thanks very much. It's yeah. like all silky smooth and. Well, you know what? Actually, and this is I, this is the first thing I really want to ask you. Uh, the hair, you guys have completely changed the whole uh, no, hair look. No, we have actually we actually have still have spiky hair. It's like it's like we just have we just have a flat today just for you. Because I haven't seen it spiky. In a while. Come, it's so weird because like when we used to go on TV shows, everyone used to always talk about our hair. It was always like, "What's going on with the hair? Yeah. How do you get it so spiky?" And now like Niall from One Direction has our hair, Molly Cyrus has our hair, so it's right. kind of become more mainstream. So it's not as crazy as it used to be. It's more okay. a normal thing. So I feel like we broke the boundaries for hair. Okay, I feel like back in the day, people were like, "Whoa, yeah. your hair is freakishly tall." But it did, like, it did actually get real tall. We didn't notice how tall it was at until one stage we got a our cut. Our hair was taller than our actual face. So are, are you saying? Yeah, it was actually. Yeah, yeah. When you think about it, would you? Yeah. yeah. So we're uh, not going to get there, get to that stage again. So, so are you saying now that Jedward are done with the hair? Is that is that no. the headline? No, well, not done with her hair. Hair ever. today, hair today, gone tomorrow. I think. Oh, yeah, I remember we were on um, Jonathan Ross. I want to go our hair massive. I want to go yeah. crazy stuff with our hair. Do you know Jonathan Ross? Yeah, last, yeah. His last yeah. broadcast on BBC, we gave him like this plaque that said that hair today gone tomorrow. Ah, all right, okay, yeah. yeah. But anyway, it's all good. Okay. He's nice hair. Yes. Long Jonathan hair. Ross has nice hair. But anyway, do our spiky hair. It really works for like Singapore and China. They start playing like our music videos on MTV China. And like in China, they actually have these, these they're, they're on TV talking about us all the time. You can go on YouTube and type in Jerry China and all these, these people talking in China and saying all yeah. these crazy stuff. Because usually you have to go to countries to launch there and they just play our music and videos. And they're really excited. All the record labels like in China, Asia, Indonesia, all those countries, all those really, really big markets, they all want to launch our new album and everything. There's a couple of billion people in, in, in China yeah, who are I now know. just getting to hear about Jedward. I know. Yeah, like, they're playing Jawad! Like, Jawad! <laughs> Yes, <laughs> a lot of love in China. Okay, but it's all good because it's like I know like if you're like, in Ireland, we've been here for like five years, four yeah. years, whatever, five. Okay, <laughs> but like it's all good. It's all up and coming and new, and you got to keep fresh the whole time. You got to keep living for the memories yeah. and keep doing your thing and keep making new music all the time and keep uh, going. Out see, the world. I've been told, right? I've been told that the single is in number one in MTV China. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so it means it's getting how many plays a day? It's getting a lot of plays out there. I'm not sure if it's number one. It's up there in the top five, I think. Three, somebody top somebody three. just said to me, uh, try, it's getting the most plays. Uh, well, okay, number one or number three. Let's go, let's go at number one. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, yeah, just, yeah, let's just create that, okay? Okay. Yes. Number one in China, Jedward here. Uh, there's loads I want to talk to you about, so, so stay where you are. And yes. also, you've got a couple of gigs coming up. So can we give away a couple of tickets? Yeah, yeah, let's give it, yeah. So yeah, what yeah, I'm course, thinking yeah. of doing is, okay, we, we, somebody will win one set of tickets. And what I want to do, because whenever you guys are on, we get the quirkiest uh, messages from people and the quirkiest texts. So yes. I want people to send in the quirkiest question Good idea, for Jedward. We'll go on our Twitter right now and okay. tweet it. So tweet it, at columnhays2fm. I want the strangest, quirkiest question for the lads, or you can text us at 51552. Or something you want to know, or anything that's on your mind, and we can give you a comment on what's up. Yeah. But stay where you are, guys, because i got to go to uh, news now. It's 20 All right, here we go, guys. Time for the news. 20 past 5. Here's the news. news sports and traffic on 2FM. A lot of, lot of oh. questions coming in for uh, John and Edwards. Uh, if you've got a quirk, we're looking for a quirky question. Maybe something that you've always wanted to know and hopefully the lads, which they always are so honest. Uh, now, listen, uh, do you know what's good? Uh, I was what's reading, up, I'll tell you what's up. Do you know something? I actually grew a beard the other day. I actually had a full-on you beard. You did not. And I uploaded a beard on the internet and people were like, Whoa! Did not expect that, John. Yeah. I had a beard like your beard right now, like a yeah. little stubble. Yeah, how long did that take? I don't know. It just, I don't know. It took like about a, a week and a bit, a week and a bit. And it, did, Edward, did you grow them? No, we, I'll, we ne actually, I'll, I'll never be seen with a beard. We actually shaved our beards just for your show so we could look fresh and look that we made the effort just for you, Com. What are you saying, Com? Thank you very much. It would be so weird to see you, John, in a beard and you without a beard. I'd never seen that. That's, you know. Then we can say John's the beardy one. But do you want to know something funny, okay? I actually, I'll show you a picture, okay? This is crazy, okay? okay. But anyway, okay, what I'll say, okay? But do, no, 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 the funny thing, okay, is, okay? 
I had a full on beard yeah. but you know what I did just to mess around okay none of the fans know it is okay I got like this black black I bought, not mascara shoe polish shoe, shoe oh, polish yeah, something yeah. and put it around my beard so highlight the you know beard that's when the bits are hair are kind yeah. of white and so my beard looked like crazy so it's not as crazy <laughs> as the picture that I uploaded so all the fans know okay I don't have a crazy hairy beard see we're talking about hair again Yes. Okay, because I want to talk about the album. You guys have written the album yourselves, more or less. Yes. Um, basically, me and John, because you're going to try your own destiny when you write your own music. So we yeah. have a song called Ferocious, and that's all about being a go-getter, being down in the dumps, and yeah. fighting on. And then we got a song called Silent Raindrops. That's all about like people dying around the world, but no one ever sees it. And it's right. all like silent raindrops. And then, no, it's, it's really great because um, you're able to, like when you're writing your songs, you can you, you start at a certain level and you just keep going uh, the whole time. We've written songs for like, the last two years. Yeah. And then right now we're at a level where we're able to like showcase our songs at a certain standard of where we want, we want them to be at as well. And like even learning to do like EDM and, and use Pro Tools and use Logic and like coming up with the riffs and like, yeah, like, so, like electronic they all, dance they music. Start, they all start on guitar and then, yeah. they, and then it all just... Just goes from there and you write the lyrics and everything and so is this this like John and Edward this is Edward maturing isn't it is this what I'm seeing in yeah, front of me totally because we've been yeah. doing this for like the last five years so it was about time we did it Calm, it's almost like a rebirth because before everything was kind of we, we always had our own input but then now we're actually doing it ourselves and we're yeah. actually progressing and we've made 12 of our own music videos as well so that's like even like directing and film videos and editing and all that type of stuff so it's like we didn't go to college but we learned to, we went to college in real life okay so we didn't have to actually go physically the into college, university of life university of going yeah, into the yeah. real world the university of Jedward yes yeah. but it's all good it's all good and, and, do, and do you do, as you write together okay so you're collaborating yes. together and I know you guys I mean I know you so many years now but do you does ever end up boxing the head off each other because you're going, John, you're going, no, no, I, this no, is all about, this line about, stays well, Colin, the, the other day, John just left the house and didn't tell anybody and went to the Killers concert in Belfast. Yeah. yeah. And didn't call anybody, and I was trying to get to the phone. I was like, I'd like to go, I John. Didn't make the, I didn't make, really so, make the cards. No, there's I had two credit cards. None of the credit cards are working. <laughs> I had to go to the bank and lodge money onto the credit card to get money to work on the credit card to buy my tickets. I nearly didn't make the concert, but I made the concert. Yeah, but it's not it's a awesome. seating concert, it's a festival. So, yeah. it, so someone at that concert was probably right beside John. Oh, I'm just seeing the picture. Oh, wow. That's very cool. John with the beard, yeah? So somebody was sitting beside John. No, but I don't want to tell everybody because I don't have a clue so you're leave doing. Him alone. It's fine. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, Karma, is, okay, is that like when it comes to writing the songs, okay, it's all about coming with a good concept. Yeah. So I come to Edward with a really good concept. Like the last song that we wrote together was called American Pinup Queen, okay? It's about Katy Perry, okay? Yeah. Her being like an icon, being like, oh, really amazing. And that was like the latest song we wrote. And they were like just really cool songs. Yeah. But do you feel like he should have asked you along to the killers gig yeah, yeah. I was just left there I'd like, I'm a big fan of the killers yeah it's okay Edward. next time when they come back when John they come why back. did you not ask Edward to, I see am I Dr. Phil here now for a minute <laughs> why didn't you ask him to the killers gig I don't know because he wasn't ready he didn't want to go I was ready no you weren't okay no one's one more ready I'm sleeping and I see John leave and like uh, where's the credit card I'm like I got a up. bus by myself all the way up to Belfast talk about crazy Edward <laughs> Okay, so, just, I'm so normal. And and, and do you need time apart? I mean, not not right now, obviously. Well, I didn't uh, ever knew we needed time apart, but John's like just does whatever he wants now. I don't do. Any, what are you on about? John. No, I don't. It's crazy. I don't. I don't. I went to the beach the other day in a wetsuit, and I went mm. into the water. It was freezing. So, John, you'd be. Well, you're both free spirits. Yes. Who, who wrote Free Spirit? Uh, we, we, we're both over in America in January and February recording the main chunk of the album, yeah. and we saw this ice skater on TV. Her name's Gracie Gold. Yeah. And she was representing the US in ice skating, and then we saw her, and we thought, well, we got the concept of watching like a free spirit, like living your life, going yeah. out there, chasing your dreams, going for gold, but being a free. Because the thing about it is, writing a good song, there's a lot of content. Um, titles out there that no one ever uses and Free Spirit's a really popular it's a term one, yeah. and no one's ever had a song called Free Spirit so, so you wanted a song that had like the music complement the words everything came yeah. together and it had like a good middle eight went straight into the chorus it was all like just felt like really really good it felt like just really really nice to listen to once it, and once it doesn't become confused with a bar that's giving away cheap vodka Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then you're okay. A free you know? soul, a free soul who goes oh, out. Free uh, soul, yeah. So that's give me a free black soul, lemon soul. What sort of fish are you doing? No, a me? soul like oh, soul in your heart. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. Okay, I got to play it. Here is free spirit from Jeremy. Here we go. And uh, we have a whole uh, clatter of questions coming up after this. Here we go. It's Jeremy. Free spirit. the radio right now you are listening to rt2 fm with colin hayes hey i gotta say the voice has changed there in the song is yeah. there is there an octave <laughs> is it an octave down because <laughs> people don't realize that we can sing really deep like oh, 
If oh, I yeah. roll the world. Yeah. Or he, or he I'd say, love to see you do an opera. It's like, she's got lips. It's like really high, really, yeah. really high, okay? She's got say, her lipstick on. Here I come. No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll, do a, we'll do a collaboration with Pavarotti sometime. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. He's dead, unfortunately. Oh, oh. Yeah. I mean, Andre Bocelli. Andre Bocelli, okay? Yeah. We're those real deep singers. But yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to do a happy medium. So we could have gone and sang way higher. We just wanted to make it sound cooler by singing at like a kind of in between level. Listen, do you want to do you want to crack the Eurovision Song Contest again? I'm gonna crack it like an egg. I'm gonna yeah. smash it and I go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook it up with a yolk and hard boiled. Yeah. Edward, <laughs> I, I really like Eurovision. I think me and John bring a, a lot of pride when, when Ireland see us on TV, yeah. and like I think everyone got together and watched us. It's good when people know people on TV and they know us as people. So it's, it's all good. It's like everything we've done up to this point, like is, is, has made us who we are today. Okay, so like you never know what's around the corner. You sort of keep going at it, keep making music, keep putting positive vibes out there, and you never know what would happen in a year, yeah. weeks, whatever. You never know what's on your journey. So you'd never say no to the Eurovision again. Never. Or yeah. to your officials if you're listening. Call us. Calm Hayes, you need to get out there and play the piano and sing a song. <gasps> I can play very small chords on the piano. Call him, okay. If you're a mentor, you better pick us. Okay. Um, now, here we go. Here's some questions. Quick, quick fire quick questions. Fire questions. Quick Let's fire questions. It's the quick fire questions. The quick fire questions with Calm Hayes. Quick fire. Yeah. Did you see X Factor on Saturday? Did you see the two girls uh, that everyone says are like you except they're girls? Uh, no. <laughs> I haven't seen them. <laughs> blonde Electric, they're called. Uh, our hair is really blonde. Yeah. We're going to playing electric guitar. And when you started, you were very electric. You calmed down a little bit. I don't know. We're, I don't know. we're always electric. We're, we're, we're always fun. No, I know. Fun. But you calmed down a little bit. Yeah. We're always fun. No, you I'm, see me. I'm, when I'm out with friends and stuff, I'm electric. <laughs> I'm spectacular. Ask Jedward if they were to bring anything from home with them on tour, just to have something with them while they're away. What is the one thing, John? Calm Hayes. Hey, hey I bring <laughs> I bring our dog Blaze because she's like really good security dog. I bring Edward just so I can have an opinion on things like should we go in the water? What do we do? How are we going to get off this island? Yeah, we well, didn't bring him to the killers gig, did you? I know, but mm, sore point. Sorry to bring it up again. Um, you, so you did actually get trapped in the tight. Some people thought that was a PR stunt. It was no so way. scary. It was like this whole thing because I thought Donna Bate and everything led to Malahide, and then we yeah. end up in this all moshy land. And I know it was like it was like being in Lord of the Rings or something. It was just like being swallowed alive or something. Okay, uh, what was the scariest thing you ever done? Would you prefer free skull, free skull, free free fall skydiving or deep sea diving? I think free fall because you could just be falling for ages. You know, have you seen the guy who's in space and he jumps from the moon in yeah. space all the way down to the earth? I do something like that. You'd probably feel have you parachuted? No, mm. we haven't done anything. That I wouldn't risk my life. Sky. I wouldn't well, no, do no, that because you think about like our fans going. What if something happened to John Nedder? The world wouldn't be the same. They'd be there to catch you. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Got Edward. Yeah. <laughs> Where's John? Where's John? That's okay. He went to a killer's gig. <laughs> he paraglided off in his own direction. Um, okay, where do you see yourselves in five years from now? Five years from now, having an amazing catalogue of music, all wrote by and produced by us. Colin, we need to get a house. We're like homeless right now. <laughs> yeah, I see us having... We're like in one family members this night, uh, another family that night. We're like, we need to buy a, a house somewhere. I see okay. us having maybe one or two new dogs. Um, okay. A lot of things. I'll keep everyone surprised. And when you live together, will you guys have to be together? Yeah. Forever? Yeah. Okay. No, I, I, was, think, I was thinking of... Except when the killers are playing. Yes. Sorry, I'm interested in that. Let's talk about the killers, okay? We've got concerts coming up as well. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. We've got our concerts. It. We have our first concert on the 24th of October in the in Olympia Dublin. Theatre. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, our concert is insane, okay? We're banging through the songs like No Tomorrow. We put, we've seen like 30 songs. Talk about insane. And then we're in Drogheda. We play the DLT everything. on the 26th Sixth, yeah. of October. And uh, what are our concerts? And then we're in Castle Bar on the 27th of October. That's three concerts for but our calm, Don't really interest me in ca Castle Bar. 4, 26, 27, that's busy. That was it? our very first concert when we were in Ireland. We came straight from the X Factor. Come, yeah. we've played over 200 shows in the Olympia Theatre, okay? Wow. We're totally all over that, okay? It's insane. So we can't wait to do that show. But anyway, our first show was in Casa Bar in Mayo. So that's like a really important show for us because our fans, that was the first time they saw us live. And what about this? Okay, this is a good question. Final question for you. What makes you smile the most, John? What's the one thing that makes you smile? What makes me smile the most is when 
uh, you get letters from your fans in the mail and they say oh how you changed their life and how you inspired them and, and thanks to you, you they are the way they are today and when you see fan mail and stuff like that and even pets animals yeah, make that's what smile. makes me happy as well when you see like these fans you first meet and they're all shy and really insecure and then like two years later they're like all, all well, it makes me smile yeah. even when you're in concerts and stuff that people can let go and release like whatever their serious side. They can just have. And you guys, time. you guys talk to your fans a lot, even even on the, on, on, on social Twitter. media, on Twitter. How many f- people have you got following you on Twitter? I uh, don't know, we, we have like we have over seven hundred thousand real followers. Yeah, but it's all good. But now with China, YouTube. you could hit a billion. Yes, and on YouTube, it's like it's like insane. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Twitter's banned over there. Okay. So I don't know how they found us. <laughs> and they don't have Facebook either. I so. think the government over there have actually come and got us and they actually said, do we need you out in our country? Yeah, because you're not allowed, to, because I think we're like the perfect pop act that don't do anything bad. Okay, no nasty, no twerking. No, no. No twerking at all. I was actually thinking of learning to twerk. I was like, I don't have no motion down there to do it. I don't know where it comes from. Yeah, have you seen Taylor Swift's new music video? Yeah. It's such a different, it's not even doing country, it's doing pop now. I know, and it's all it's all movement of the of the buttock muscles. That's really I what it is. You don't, don't need to go there. The muscles I've never used in my life. Yeah, you don't need to go there. Okay, listen, great to see you again, lads. Just to mention, Olympia Chris 24th Lacan. of October, Draw the 26th of October, Royal Castle uh, in Castle Bar, uh, Royal, uh, yeah, in Castle Bar, 27th of October, and I like the person who asked, would you ever free fall and go join, uh, parachuting? So we yeah, want to have the tickets, right? Let's give her tickets. Let's give you the tickets. We see got at the tickets. concert, the 24th of October. Good to see you again, guys. Thanks, Carl. We will talk again. John and Edward, Jedward, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, come Thank you. Thank you.